Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we are learning ayah number 121 Alladina, Hamza is a very strong sound. It has to become to come from your throat, and the makhraj should be very sharp. A, al, and attach it with lam. Al, for fatha, open your jaws. The two counts long. So two counts long vowel, and um, makhraj of that is when you uh, put your a tip of your tongue under the edge of your frontal two teeth. This is the makhraj of dal. Adhina. Na is short. Alladhina. A. Hamza is a strong sound. And then there is alif. So Hamza and alif are two different, um, has two different makhraj. Hamza has to be, to come from your throat and alif should be from your jaw. So Hamza is a very strong sound. It should be different from Alif. Ah, uh, ah, uh, two counts long. Tai, this is lean. Lean has to be two counts long too. And what is the uh, uh, mechanism to, uh, to say lean? For Fatha, give a very clear sound or make it little longer. Uh, it doesn't matter. Ta, ta, and then attach it. Yeah. Tai, ah, tai. And ya will, ya is a very soft uh, letter. Na, two counts long. Ah, tai, na, hu. For the ma, circle your lips. Mul, circle your lips for the ma, and then attach with lam. Mul. Humul and give the wasut on lam. Lin Omar are five letters which have uh, if you find them in with the uh, sakun, you will give the wasut and the wasut is a medium flow of sound. Humul ki ki is a light letter and for kasra give e sound. It should be ki. It cannot be k or any other uh, sound, but it is ki. Ki ta, ta is two counts long. Ba, short. Ki ta, ba, yet. For um, ta, give hams. Abbreviation of hams is capital H and M. And what is hams? Hams is a flow of breath. It's not a sound, but is a breath. So flow of breath is hams. Yet, yet, lu, lu is two counts long. Na, short. Hu, circle your lips well and uh, make it two counts long. Yet, lu, na, hu, ha, 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 the makhraj of ha is um, uh, your throat. Ha, ha, or, um, and make cough heavy. Ha, ha. Or um, for fatha, open your jaws. So when you uh, are saying any letter with the shtid, uh, it means there are two letters under it. Same two letters. So when you are joining ha with qaf, that qaf should be heavy too. It cannot be haq qa. No, it's haq. Haq. First, uh, qaf is attached with qaf, uh, with ha. And then there is fatha on qaf. Ha, ka. So both of, uh, whether it's with the uh, sakun, look, um, I can write it for you. So when this cough is with the steed, so there are two coughs under it. Okay, I will write this. Ha, ka. Ha, ka. So you can say, look, First one is 
Ha. Huh? This is ha. Huh? And the second one is with dhamma. First one is with sukoon and the second one is with, with fatha, sorry. Haqqa, sorry. So both should be heavy. Haqqa, haqqa. You cannot say the first one, haqqa, no. Haqqa. So both should be heavy. Haqqa, ti. That for kasra give e sound la two comes long t la wa for wow circle your lips to pronounce wow you have to circle your lips for fatha open your jaws wa t that is a very strong uh, sound t he four comes long because this is mad mun fasil ja is t la wa t he u for dhamma, uh, circle your lips. And this vowel is short. Uh, because this vowel, you, uh, can you see this uh, small circle? It means you shouldn't pronounce this vowel as it's not there. So, u is short. U, la, la is four counts long. E is very strong sound. For kasra, give e sound. U, la, e, ka, e, ka. It should be Ika, it it cannot be ika ika. It it's not a way a, a soft um sound. It's very sharp. Sharp means like it's just like a cut of the knife. <laughs> yes, this sharp. E ika. It it pronounces and it goes away right you know, over that. Like it doesn't flow. It. It uh, it creates and it goes away. Ula i ika, ula ika. You for dhamma circle your lips and whenever any letter is attached with hamza, it gets that sharpness too. So this is a sharp st uh, sh stop over here. You me for kasra give e sound. Nu two counts long. You me nu na na is short. B for kasra give e sound for um rakhawa you will give uh, for ha you will give rakhawa. Rakhawa is a flow of sound. The sound should flow. It shouldn't stop. B wa short. May this is idgham with gunna. When you find um uh harufayer maloon after noon sakin, you create idgham and idgham is to merge one sound into another. So this noon, the sound of noon is merged into ya. Wa yak yak, and this um, this merging is with wunna. So you keep the sound in your nose. Wa yak ya. For fatha, open your jaws and for kaf, give hums. There are how many letters of hums? Okay, I'm, I will write it for you. Hums. Fahassahu shakhsun sakat. These are the letters which uh, gets um, hums when they are big and they come with sukun. Yak for, for dhamma, circle your lips. For ra, give the wasut. The wasut is a medium flow of sound, and the the sound should should it should have a medium medium flow of sound, not short, not too long. Yak for b b short he two counts long b he fa for fa give hums. It's uh hums is a flow of breath. The breath should flow. F, f. This is the breath. F, u, hamza is a strong sound. Dham, for dhamma, circle your lips. F, u. So for dhamma, you should circle your lips as 
if you wanted to see your lips with your eyes, you will be able to uh, see. So the circled lips should be out of your, mm, like you should make them obvious. Fa -u -la -la is four times long. E, sharp sound. Orchestra give E sound. Fa -u -la -i -ka -ka is short. Who for circle uh, for dhamma circle your lips mul for meme circle your uh, for dhamma circle your lips and then attach it with lam and give the wasut on lam who mul ho ho is heavy and two counts long c c is short and give kasra uh, a e sound ho c oru Make a raw uh, four counts long, and when you will stop, you will give the wasut on noon because it will get temporary sukun. So, whenever noon is with sukun, you have to give the wasut, and the wasut is a medium flow of sand. Listen to me clear, care, uh, carefully how I create this. The wasut. <laughs> like you should be able to hear noon very clearly. You cannot stop abruptly, otherwise this noon will be trapped. So, Ya Bani Isra'i Guru Ya, Ya is two counts long, Ba short. Ya Bani is four counts long, Is for kasra, give E sound. Hamza is a sharp sound. Is for seen, give rohawa, give uh, it is a light sound and it will get safir. Safir is a whistle sound which is there naturally in, in seen. Whistle sound. Is. Can you hear this sound? Is. Oro. Oro is four counts long. E. E is two counts long. Hamza is a very sharp sound, and then it it is two counts long. E lel for lamp uh, for fatha. Open your jaws and attach with a dal. Dal will get rukhawa. Lel rukhawa is a flow of sound, so you should be uh, um you you should create a sound flow of sound over here. Lev. Can you hear me? Lev. Ku. For Thumma, circle your lips. Oru. Oru is two counts long and Ra is heavy. Whenever Ra is with Thumma or Fatha, you make Ra uh, heavy. And heavy sound is Oru. Um, and to create this heaviness, you have to lift your tongue up. Lev. Kuru. For kasra, give e sound. For ayn, give the wasut, and ayn should be um, pronounced from your throat. Nya, ma, ma is short. T, t is short. Yel, ya is attached with lam. Yel, la, la is short. T, four counts long. And hamza is a sharp sound. For fatha, open your jaws. And attach with noon, and noon will get the wasut. And am, and am, ain from your throat for fatha. Open your jaws and give the wasut on neem too, because this is part of lin umar too. Lin umar are the five letters which, whenever it gets uh, uh, sakun, um, we have to create the wasut on it. And am to for dhamma, circle your lips. Ah, I'm from your throat. Lay. This is lean. You have to create it very softly. Uh, you have to say it's very softly. And for fatha, open your jaws and softly attach with ya. And ya is already a soft letter. Ah, lay. Kum for dhamma, circle your lips. For uh, meme. Give the wasut. The wasut is a medium flow of sound. 
So the sound should uh, blow in a medium uh, length. Gum, ue, for wow, circle your lips, for fatha, open your jaws, and Hamza, look how sharp this sound is. And it should be like this. It should be created from your throat and it's a, um, it's a short, sharp sound. And for uh, noon, uh, create unna. Noon and meme are the letters whenever they get the, the teeth, uh, it gets a longer um, uh, period of unna. And, and then me is two counts long too because this is a long vowel. There are three long vowels in Quran. Alif sakina qablaha maftuh. Waw sakina qablaha magmum. And ya sakina qablaha maksur. Yes, I will say it in English. Whenever you find fatha before alif or gamma before waw and kasra before ya, then you make all these vowels long. How long it will be? It will be two counts long. Well, uh, so uh, here is one of them. Which one is this? Ya sakin qablaha maksur. So there is ya sakin. And before uh, ya, you find kasra. There is kasra on noon. So it makes ya long. Anni fagal fa fa there is hams on fa. Make sure you create hams in fa, otherwise it will it will sound like a wow. So fal and there will be istakala and thought will get istakala and it is heavy and um fal fal gul for fatha open your Jaws and attach with lam and lam will get the wasut. Fabal tu for pama circle your lips to kum for pama circle your lips and then attach with meme and meme will get the wasut. Kum a ain from your throat lel for fatha open your jaws and attach with lam lam will get the wasut. Alel a a from your throat. And it is two counts long. La, short, me. Make it four counts long. And when you will stop on noon, it will get sakoon. And if if it, it's it's getting sakoon, naturally there will be tawasut on noon too. Alami. Ya Bani Israel Kuru Niamati Yelati An Amtu Alaikum Wa Anni Fadwaltukum Subhanak Allahumma Rabbana wa bihamdika Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu